Hi, I'm Nate Meyer, Product Evaluation Leader with Rob Seco, and today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, crop staging of corn. So why is crop staging important? Well, first of all, uh, if you know what stage a crop is, you know when you can apply certain herbicides. You also know it can help you to determine the cause and the effect of problems going out on your field. We're going to talk about what we call the leaf collar method of staging corn. So first we'll be talking about the vegetative uh, stages in the corn, which would be VE through VT. In a different one, we'll be talking about the reproductive stages, which would be R1 through R6. Every stage takes about 55 to 60 GDUs approximately to move from one stage to the next. First, we'll talk about germinations to emergence. The corn seed will start to germinate when it's reached about 30% moisture, as well as about 125 GDUs, give or take. The first thing that'll happen is the radical will emerge and move downwards. Then we'll have the mesocotyl emerge and that'll move upwards in, in the soil profile. At this point, the growing point is about one, and a half, one to one and a half inches below the soil surface. That's if they plant it at two inches. After the corn has emerged, from that point on, between each vegetative leaf stage, we'll need about 55 to 60 GDUs. Let's look a, bit more, a little bit more closely from V1 to V5. V1 to V2, which is one leaf collar or two leaf collars, happens about one week after emergence. V3 to V5 happens about two weeks after emergence. At this point, the growing point is still below the soil surface, but is starting to move its, move its way up. Also at V5, you can see a very small microscopic tassel being developed. 